Yo, what's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I had to make a separate video to talk about Bray Wyatt's return and what will WWE do with him moving forward. Will they actually do Bray Wyatt justice finally this time? I, I had to talk about this only because one, everyone's talking about Bray, uh, Bray Wyatt's return, and two, it's been on my mind after watching the clips over and over and over of his initial return at extreme rules and how the crowd literally went insane i started to think how would they do this differently how would they do bray wyatt justice this go around and hopefully it works and it sticks because we all know bray wyatt will go down as one of the greatest like creative minds in wrestling the things that he has done with his gimmick alone and the way he's been able to repackage himself from complete oblivion multiple times is is truly stunning so first things first i want to talk about the aspects of his initial return and the things leading up to it i know i didn't get a chance to really go and dive into it in my uh, pre, uh my thoughts and opinions on extreme rules this year but i wanted to really just give credit to how wwe was able to make his return feel so different and unique and captivating they use social media to their advantage never did wwe or triple h ever say hey he's coming back the way they repackaged him or brought him back it was just qr codes just qr codes bunny rabbits in the crowd when you scan the QR code, it sends you to a, a, a either a video clip or a mini game. And then they give you coordinates to the next show, the next Friday Night SmackDown or the next Monday Night Raw. So you want to check the, the shows because you want to see where you can find the QR codes. And the QR codes are not even obvious sometimes. Sometimes they're in the background. Sometimes they're on the microphone. Sometimes they're on commentary desk. They just randomly, just randomly pop up or sometimes the screen glitch out and you get like a little animation and that to me is very creative in getting the hype going because people are already oh this has got to be bright this has got to be bright people are already buying into the fact that this is bray wyatt they built up the hype then when then they announced in these little vignettes that the the rabbit will be at extreme rules that automatically probably increased sale tickets because people wanted to, hey, I got to go see this. I got to go check this out because Bray Wyatt's probably going to be there. So I want to be there for that. And you know the hype was at a fever pitch because during the main event between Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins, the match, they were chanting, we want Wyatt. We want Wyatt. The entire match, damn near. Their match got overshadowed by that <laughs> I Quit match, which was fantastic. And then the prospect, the idea of Bray Wyatt coming back. So they did his return perfect. The crowd showed tremendous love through each of the stages of his return. It, fantastic. I've watched the clip so many times. If you haven't seen the clip, go watch it. It's goosebumps inducing. Easily one of the best returns of this year. It's up there, definitely up there with the MJF return. It, it may even be just slightly a little bit better in the sense of how they set it up, you know, overall. But either way, the MJF return and Wyatt return, mega, mega pops, huge pops, great, fantastic. That's what that's what wrestling is right there. Just that moment was legendary. Well, that would be synonymous when you think of Extreme Rules 2022 when Bray Wyatt returned. So, now the question moving forward is how do they not repeat the same stuff they did previously? Well, one, you don't have Vince McMahon there, so that kind of helps out a lot. I have a lot more faith that Triple H will do Bray Wyatt justice finally and here's the thing about bray and his opportunities he's had in the past i feel like vince would listen to bray and take some of his ideas but 
didn't really know ultimately Vince and maybe you know the people that are in charge of booking and creative they didn't really know ultimately how to I guess you can say keep his momentum going right now from what we've seen Bray seems he doesn't seem I guess you could say like the fiend with the supernatural aspect because they're showing all his different supernatural characters and stuff like that from the Firefly Funhouse. But when you when you see him, it's Bray with the lantern. The man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure if they're going to take it that route. I, me personally, hope they do. I hope they don't go with the supernatural route like they did with the Fiend. Only because you kind of book yourself in the corner when you do that type of stuff. When you go supernatural to realism, you book yourself in the corner. I don't think Bray needs that to get over it. If anything, Bray can be more of the psychological mind game, kind of like what he was in his original, like his original repackaging of him as this like cult leader. They could go that route, but kind of expand on it. Maybe have some supernatural aspects in the sense of like, maybe like vignettes and stuff like that and promo packages you can kind of go that route but i want to keep I, I would hope they keep him in a grounded state where we actually see bray and we kind of go from there and maybe you can do some one-offs with the fiend if you want to incorporate that at a later time that's just my personal opinion i think we need to see the man himself actually out there in the ring putting in the work dropping people off I would love that. That's just my personal take on it. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see more of his supernatural aspect. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, I trust Triple H to do Bray Wyatt justice. That's the only reason why I'm okay with this return, obviously, because they executed it perfectly. And the simple fact that Triple H is going to be in his corner. Triple H is in control of this. If it was Vince McMahon in control still, I would not be comfortable with this at all. But it's not. So I'm, I have a little bit more faith that Triple H is going to do him right. And for the first time in a very long time with Bray, I have high hopes for him. I really do in what they, they plan on doing. Because the thing about Bray that we've seen so many times, his character would be at such a high, and then they would book him into something stupid or have him lose a match that he should have won, and it would drop him down even more. And he would find a way to get himself back over just to be dropped down once again, and then ultimately he got released. So I, I think this time they're going to treat, treat his character and what they're trying to do carefully and i'm looking forward to it and then the biggest question of all who does he face who does who is his first opponent i'm not sure does he ultimately at one point faces roman reigns honestly i would love to see that last time we saw him he was getting wrecked by roman reigns he ended up losing the championship so i would love to see a, 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 I guess you could say a reoccurrence of Roman Reigns and Bray because they have so much history with each other. Roman's in a different place now. Bray's in a different place now. I would love to see that dynamic. I would. I would. I, I don't think you do that immediately, but I would love to see that dynamic. I would love to see the dynamic. Say Cody Rose comes back. He actually does win the championship and then Bray gets into the mix with Cody. Oh, or Bray and Seth, they got some history too. This this opens up so many possibilities for different matches and different feuds. And feuds to be restarted, to feuds to be rekindled. I'm excited. I am so excited. Monday Night Raw, I can't wait to check it out. Because I we don't know what Bray's going to say. How, what version of Bray we're going to get. How is it going to play out? Is he going to be the version we saw at Extreme Rules, or is he going to go back to his Fiend gimmick, or is it going to be a new gimmick? What What's the significance of the mask he had on? Like, there's so many things, and people are a buzz about WWE again. It seems like every single pay-per-view so far out, you know, so far that Triple H has had, you know, taken over, there's always a buzz after every single pay-per-view in a great way, and I'm looking forward to it. 
so i had to make this video because i just wanted to kind of get my thoughts out on where i would like to see the fiend and you know what I'm saying who i would like to see him face and just my i guess you could say my my confidence in what triple h has been doing now that i feel like the fiend will be in a much better place this go around i just have a good feeling triple h is not gonna bring him back to screw him over again i think ladies and gents we may get the bray wyatt run that we've always wanted to see and we were so close to seeing a very few times but it never really panned out i think we may get it ladies and gents and I'm, I'm looking forward to it so comment down below let me know are you guys just as excited as i am to see bray wyatt actually back and actually may will actually will get the proper run he's always deserved in his career are you guys feeling that excitement as well because i know i am let me know down below also who do you guys think he should feud with first and you know we we have that discussion bro because i really do think this is going to be something different i know i've said in the past i don't want bray to come back but that's because vince mcmahon was there and i figured they were going to do the same thing to him anyway now i'm glad that he has come back i'm glad we have triple h in charge and i'm looking forward to seeing what they do with bray but i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace